Hello, this is Diana Diagnos. Diana is the Chief Operational Manager of a small biotech company, which develops in vitro diagnostics, or IVDs. Her IVDs help patients and medical doctors speed up and improve the process of diagnosing diseases, monitoring the success of treatments, and avoiding mistreatment of a disease with inappropriate medication. Diana is a big fan of IVDs, as they are so helpful in medicine. They are relatively cheap and have huge cost-saving potential for the healthcare system. Actually, IVDs cause only 2% of the entire healthcare cost. However, the annual revenue of the IVD industry is the largest in the healthcare industry and has the potential to increase. The COVID pandemic increased the need for high quality and reliable IVDs to ensure that society worldwide does not suffer more from the fear of having the virus than from having the virus itself. Rapid awareness of an infection is essential to reduce fear and panic along with societal health. The fast diagnosis of a disease such as a virus is just as important as the fast development of more high quality IVDs. Due to the important role IVDs play nowadays, the regulations and quality standards have become stricter during the last couple of years. This helps to make sure that the results of IVDs are reliable and that patients can trust the results. During the upcoming years, these new regulations require that even more clinical data be collected within clinical trials, which show the integrity and quality of the IVD data better. Even though these requirements are understandable and welcomed by patients, medical doctors, and the health healthcare systems, for the IVD industry, this means a quite expensive hurdle. This makes the development timelines longer and thereby increases the development costs of IVDs dramatically. Despite the fact that the development of IVDs has become tougher for Diana and her team, they will not give up. They believe in the importance and great value of her products. She started searching for help. They recognized soon that finding help was not easy, as most of the contract research organizations don't have the experience that they needed with IVDs. The organization suggested to run her IVD clinical studies according to ICH-GCP for pharmaceuticals. Other companies stated that ISO 14155 for medical devices would be the right standard. They talked about ZUZARs, the risk of death within the trial, and expensive processes of data control and management. Actually, Diana recognized that they don't know what they're talking about. At least they don't understand the studies of IVDs. Therefore, she changed the strategy from trying to find an experienced CRO to finding a training in clinical development according to IVR and ISO 20916-2019 for her and her staff. And where she found this training, she also found the competence in this topic she was searching for. Finally, her search was over. She had found an IVD task force group composed of regulatory, clinical operations, statistics, and data management experts that focus on clinical developments of IVDs. She learned that the clinical development of IVDs takes teamwork between manufacturer and CRO, as IVDs differ so much. Every IVD performs differently, and therefore, every IVD needs a special intention which cannot be compared with the clinical development of drugs, medical devices, or active implantable devices. Nearly every IVD requires thinking outside the box. It is just as essential to find a competent manufacturer and CRO team. After the first kickoff meeting, Diana's team developed a real team feeling with the CRO task force, which was a super start for the new way of developing their IVDs. Thus, nothing can stop Diana Diagnos. She continues developing more high quality IVDs for patients in our healthcare systems. When will you contact the IVD task force group for your next IVD study?